when I was watching the first half of this movie, there was one image that kept running through my head and I kept chuckling to myself, not out loud because I didn't want anyone else to look at me like I was a weirdo, but here's the image. Then I had to run home and make that in Photoshop. <sighs> So this was kind of like the prequel slash origin story to the original Planet of the Apes movie. And it was a hell of a lot better than the, the last one we got, the one directed by Tim Burton. You know what I'm talking about. Hey monkey, what are you doing down there? Now listen you damn dirty chimp, if you don't shut your filthy monkey mouth, I'm gonna stick my banana in it. So anyway, James Franco plays a scientist in this movie trying to develop the cure for Alzheimer's disease. And they test the cure out on uh, chimpanzees. Before I go any further, I gotta show you my James Franco impression. So the first half of this movie really focuses on the relationship between Caesar the Ape and James Franco. They live in the same house together and Caesar has his own little room upstairs, you know, it's covered with maps and has an old TV in the corner. But the first half of this movie really reminded me of like a serious take on a Curious George movie. I mean, the movie also starred John Lithgow playing James Franco's father, which I didn't even know John Lithgow was in this damn movie until I started watching it. And it was a nice surprise because Lithgow added a, a nice touch of emotion to the film. He brought in, a, you know, the nice warm older man feel to the movie. Nice Nice older, warmer man feel. That does that. That doesn't sound good. But anyway, in my opinion, he kind of acted like the uh, nurturing grandfather to uh, the young Caesar the ape. You know what I mean? Maybe not. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything in this movie for you, but at one point, Caesar is locked up in this thing. As I, I'm going to describe it as uh, Shawshank for chimps. I mean, all the people who run it are cruel. They treat these monkeys like crap, and they even hose them down at some point. And basically, this prison for chimps, I don't know why I do the bunny ears. I always do the damn bunny ears. I got to stop. But anyway, the role of the uh, prison guard, I guess you could call it, that uh, watched over all the chimps uh, was played by Tom Felton, you know, uh, Draco from the Harry Potter movies. Except now he's not doing magic spells, he's just uh, performing animal cruelty. Now overall, I thought this movie had a solid script, the dialogue was great, and the emotional performances in this movie, I mean, James Franco, I mean, he played his part fine, but you know who really got me in this movie? Caesar the Ape, and I know he was a CGI'd ape, he was likable, you really felt for the monkey. I mean, hell, I wanted the apes to take over because they made the humans look so bad. You know, after watching this movie and the, the great CGI work you see on the facial expressions of the, of the chimps, it makes you wonder why they didn't do the same thing on Jeff Bridges and uh, Tron Legacy. I mean, look at that damn thing. It looks like a shitty PS3 game that was slapped together. The movie was only about two hours long, but in those two hours you get great character development. It doesn't feel rushed. I mean, you get the right amount of action, and you really get to know the character Caesar. And yes, uh, everything they did in this movie with the apes taking over, it felt well done. It was believable. So this movie definitely gets the flick pick. So before I go, if you guys haven't checked out my latest review, I did it on the movie Stand By Me. The link's right here. I mean, everything I had, my heart, my soul, my passion, my desire, all went into this intro. And plus, I got to kill somebody with a train. <sighs> so anyway, guys, I'm John with the Flick Pick Channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.